in the microwave experiment uh, we're going to perform mainly three experiments so before starting uh, I'd like to tell you that here we have a transmitter in the transmitter we can change two things one is the frequencies and another one is the power now this transmitter is connected to the power supply so when you turn it on you can see that red light is on um, the main safety here is that when microwave is turned on, never look it straight to the to the transmitter because it's really harmful for your eyes. So uh, now, uh, in the second part, we have a receiver. In the receiver, uh, we can see uh, the readings. This is basically reading intensity. Now uh, we have two handles. Uh, that they're different size, so we're going to have two different sizes. One's shorter than the other one is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a higher and we have a ganeometer which can be rotated at a different angle we have ganeometer uh, uh, hand arm which can be rotated at different angle now on the first part of the experiment what you have to do is basically you have to measure the the wavelengths of the microwave so what you have to do you have here the, the distance can be changed by the rotating this knob so starting from let's say from uh, seven or six try to move it slowly and you have to pick up the readings so when you perform this experiment try to uh, first set the frequency let's say to two and measure the wavelengths and then try to set it to the five and the eight and try to repeat the experiment by changing that a distance so then you have to plot the graph where you will have intensity uh, versus distance where you will see the wavelengths uh, of the microwave again uh, in you have to repeat the experiment three times by changing the frequency as i said by uh, change play, uh, set it to do the experiment set it to five uh, set it to eight and repeat the experiment